Hello, my name is Tris and this is Double O'Neill and today I'm going to conquer something that I've been thinking far too much about and thinking let's get on with this. I've been working on this little shunting layout over a few videos in bite-sized chunks so hopefully you've enjoyed that and let me know if you have. The thing that I want to do on this video at least um, is wire up this um, three-way point that we installed on the last video what I want to achieve is having it where the because it's electro frog that the frogs themselves are powered in the right way and I was looking to do it with various products that are out there but I remembered from an old layout I have this point motor here and built into the point motor you have the auxiliary um, section on it so I can power um, one with well, a frog with one bit and you put two wires in which come from the track so whichever way it is it will power the frog so that means we'll have nice running for our slower speed locos. Now, I was thinking, oh, let's have no point motors and things. But actually, without even powering this up, when we go to the two different points on this um, point motor, let's say, um, it actually will power the frog how I want it to. So that's kind of fun. I made these ages ago, little 3D printed bases, so I could just screw them on nicely. Um, it kind of it makes it a little bit nicer when you're working with it whereas the small unit you're trying to screw in place with these two little holes doesn't make it so fun i've seen others out there um, they're online um so i kind of made my own printing them off on an fdm printer you could make them out of whatever you like really a bit of wood screw into that and then you've got a nicer piece to work with and you can also detach it easier later on if you have to do any work on it so that's something that i'm really happy that i've kind of picked back up i've put it in a box in the loft and i'm making use of it now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to install it um, we're going to talk a little bit about it and hopefully um, we'll get this all working. I need to attach two in this and then after that I can then put some more track on and we can run a loco up and down and find out how it works. At the same time I'm going to wire up um, this track so then I can connect up with this side as well. So I think there will be a bit of a milestone with that because once this is done I can do the next point I can add another point motor and we can work our way down and then at a later stage i'll wire up the point motors to see if they work the biggest thing for all of this that we talked about from the beginning is this needs to be fun um and so i'm going to do it in my own bite-sized moments of install certain bits come back another day another video and then we'll do some wiring and hopefully along the way we'll learn something um, if not we get better at something that we already knew Flipping it up to its side here, I bring this across, you'll be able to see where we had our wiring before. So these are our three wires that go to our frogs underneath. Uh, I also understand by this diagram that you get with the Pico points, it's an asymmetric code 75 point if you don't already know. Um, it shows you what you want to do, where you want to connect things up. Looks very simple in that, so we'll find out if that works. So just here, you'll be able to see a tiny hole it's not the best light here. I'll just push it back so maybe we can get some better lines on there. But you've got a hole um, that this will go into. So that will just basically go into this hole. So what you can do is don't line it up to the point that you hold it in a certain place. Obviously, I don't think if my hand's going to get in the way, we should be okay. And obviously this point's coming down like this at an angle. So you want to kind of match that angle that it's going through. So something like that. Obviously, like I said, the light's not very good. But now I can switch the point, as you can hear. And we get to a point that we're kind of happy with. So I think that's fine. I'm not an expert at this, but this is what I'm thinking makes sense. And I'm going to make a little mark. So then I know that I can do it. I'm going to do a little pilot hole here. Oh, I keep dropping this. It's probably not going to work when I do it. I'll do a tiny little pilot hole and then we'll screw it in. Let's mount that on again.
that still works there. See, it's a bit hard with the lack of light, but I think you can get the picture out on that one. So yeah, so I'm, I'm happy with that, I think. Anyway, we'll have to test drive it in a bit. Uh, we're not in this video. But now I'm gonna fit the other one. I've made it so my wires come this way, so it's kind of easier to, to get to when we come to all the wiring. So I'll fit the other one, and then we'll look at wiring these wires up. Now I've fitted them, I'm gonna run some track, or well not track, some wire up through little holes that we've made. I've put some holes in the track just here, not that you can really see what I'm on about. But basically we're gonna poke it through and then solder the wires on, um, which will be very beneficial because we can then power up the frogs using the switch. So I've soldered the black, I've done it on the back side. And just, all you need to do is make sure you just follow, you know, your original plan on, you know, so things don't short out, so you don't get things confused. Red to the front, black to the back, it's quite simple. So I've put the, both of these on. Hopefully they won't be too noticeable, but again, I think I said before, we could have an engine shed around here. It's gonna block any connections that I've done, but we're gonna have more connections anyway. So let's look from the back. So you see these two wires have come out. So my plan is to wire them up on D and E, and then I believe F will then be connected to one of these. And then looking at the picture, and hopefully I'm not wrong, you then do the reverse for the other frog. So where D and E would be, it looks like it will be the opposite way around for those frogs. Um, the frog wires that we've got here, the two middle ones, um, which are closest to the front, um, they will be joined together. And then the rear one will be on its own, um, going to one of the other ones. Um, obviously the one that's here, um, the closest one to those wires. Um, that one, yeah, that one is powering this one and these two are getting powered by this one, I think. Yeah, that works. Anyway, we'll wire it up and find out just how long I got this. So I've done some wiring. I've wired up the thing, way well, I think, sorry. <laughs> it needs to be wired. So look at the picture, it looks like our opposites on these two um, when they're connecting up to these two. So I'll find out if it just shorts out when we put some power on it or if it works, right? Um, so I like, connect those two together, that goes to one and then do that one, go to there. I um, don't know why they didn't just connect it up on the, um, like, because they're right next door to each other on the point. Maybe there's another reason for it, I don't know. Maybe someone can tell me. Um, maybe there's an option of wiring uh, for another point. Uh, anyway, um, so yeah, so that's, that's that. I've put some extra power bits in because this is going to the track. So I'll be able to power the track with this as well at the same time. So that will be pretty handy. And um, then extras to go to the other point motors that will be further down here. So I've now <laughs> done some testing. I've got it working. The biggest mistake I made was I actually connected the wire that would be from the outside and the inside of the um, the track to the wrong way on the switch. So all it did was short it out. So I had to swap them around. The other bit is I can't just turn the point because it will short things out because underneath the catch doesn't go all the way. So I, I'm doing it from underneath with my finger. So what I'm gonna do is run this raised up. But what I also need to do is power up the point motors at some stage. But what I want to do is do a demonstration of my class 33. We're going to turn the engine on. Just a bit of a noisy one. I've got big speakers inside it. It's a bit too noisy. Or maybe it's not. Maybe it's perfect. We'll just let that engine fire up. So we'll bring it across and I'll make it so it goes into this one here, and we can bring it in. Hit the brakes, other direction, we'll bring it back over. This will take a moment or two, but it is a lot of fun. And then we we'll flip the points to go the other way.
and that one works and then we'll just do the last one so I'll just reverse it the other way I, it's why i love dcc because it's so cool all the noise We're just going to test out the last bit of track here. And we'll flip the point across, but make sure we do it underneath as well, just so it's actually gone across and it's touching the right contacts. And it works, so all three work. And the benefit for me now, just turn the engine off. The benefit for me now is that I can put the other points in, which are much more simple. Um, the three-way point, it offered complexity, uh, which I hadn't dealt with before, and was a little bit intimidating for me. Just tilt the camera towards me. So yeah, so I've got past that. I've been thinking about it a lot, how to wire it, looking at the diagram. And I guess it is simple enough. Once you've done one, you could probably do many. But when you haven't done things before, you generally put off doing them. There's always the thoughts of, well, you know, I, I can work this out. It's just a bit of wiring and you just swap it around if it doesn't work, right? And But there's probably many of you, let me know in the comments below, but there's probably many of you that don't do things because, oh, what if I can't do it? What if I can't get it to work? One of the issues that I find with some of the point work is when you're up in the loft and the board's already there and you've got to be underneath. Imagine I had to do all the swapping around and messing around with it on the boards underneath. That's a bit of an issue. I guess what you could do is you build it up on a bit of wood. You make it all work and you go, right, I know exactly how to wire this. Then you go and do that. One thing I want to do with my loft layout is have it so all the boards are modular bring them downstairs and I can work on them, get them all working, then they go back upstairs, which would be kind of cool. I've had a lot of fun, I'd say, doing this. I know that might be hard to believe. Um, now it's working and the logo is going forwards and backwards. My class 33 sounding fantastic when it's doing it too. I'm very pleased because now the next step for me is put all the other points in, um, wire them up. I will have to insulate the, one of the frogs uh, when I do all this um, and then power those tracks separately so then I don't have any issues or conflicts um, but yeah so hopefully that all made sense hope you enjoyed this video I think this is all I'm going to do for this video I kind of I don't even know how long it'll be if it's a short and sweet video or not um, but installing the three-way points I thought I was going to do this and load more for the video but this is actually taking me quite a few I don't know a couple of hours to kind of kind of mess around with to, to get right get that wiring done let's say two hours if you're doing it again it'll probably take only half an hour to do that um but a bit of head scratching working it out um double checking the instructions thinking but that's what i've done yeah it's all good fun but anyway loco running very happy and uh i hope you enjoyed actually seeing that running well, i enjoyed doing it uh, on the next video i'm going to be heading over to tony's trains um, i need to pick up my 88 ds I'm quite excited about that little loco and that'll be one of my shunters on this layout which would be good um so that kind of i don't know that makes me quite quite excited about it all um anyway i hope you enjoyed this video like i said i've enjoyed doing the video actually i'm quite satisfied it's all together i'm really pleased with what i've done i've kind of gone over a little milestone of something that i haven't done before dealing with electro frog point and wiring them up utilizing the point motors the point motors i will power them up but that like I said, it's for a, another video. Yeah, anyway, leave a comment in below. Thank you to my patrons, channel members, subscribers, people who comment, and people who they like. Anyway, see you later.